Hey, Quinn Myers here with the Quinn Myers Compass San Diego real estate team. It is June 2021 and it is media day out front of our new listing here on Sail Bay in Crown Point Pacific Beach, San Diego at 3888 Riviera Drive, unit number 305. That's the Riviera Villas community. I'm standing across the street. We're going to walk over. I'm going to give you a buyer walkthrough video tour, give you kind of an in-depth look at the community and the condo. If you're out of town or on vacation and you want to see it just the same and potentially write an offer, this is a good in-depth look at the condo and the community to give you an idea with actually getting your feet um, in the sand. So come on with me and take the tour. Thanks. So we're going to dodge some cars here and try to get across the street. Fun fact about this community in relation to the most of the communities on the north and east shores of Sail Bay is this community at the moment does not have any rental restrictions like the majority of the communities within Crown Point and Sail Bay. For the parking garage, you can have a code. Obviously, you'd have a clicker as well to get in. If you're coming off the street with your dog or your friends or your bicycle, you start here with a code to get in through the gate, through the ground floor courtyard. You got your mail that gets delivered here. Looks like some future community, community notices going in there. Down a couple stairs, down a couple more stairs. Past the first floor laundry room. There's a laundry room on every floor. Most condos in the complex, including number 305, do not have an internal laundry room. You're going to hit up, and we're going to floor three. As you come off the elevator on the third floor, you take an immediate right. And the condo is where that door is there. One thing before we go inside to point out is, although there are four stories within the community, this structure, this part of the community, only has three stories. So you are the top floor unit with nobody above you. And the nice part is you have easy access to your roof. And that's why there's an AC system where most of the condos in the community do not, because the AC condenser is up on that roof, which is easy to access. Great for skylights also, which I'll show you as we go in. We're going to go in the condo now. Got a easy push button entry. Immediately to your left, we have the living space with the gas fireplace. I believe most of the community and the, uh, the condos used to have uh, radiant heating in the ceiling. This one has been disconnected and now has the central heat and AC. Come right, we've got the kitchen. I'll take you to the view first, which is the best part of any Sail Bay condo. So this pool is actually the Riviera Shores community pool, which is to the right. So that pool is not part of this community, but you'll get the view from the patio. Give you a little idea here. Got enough room for a couple chairs and an electric grill. Propane grills are not allowed in this area and in this community on your patio. So electric grill just does just fine. Nice day in June. The June gloom from earlier is wearing off, and that is just about due west, so perfect sunset views towards the catamaran and towards Mission Beach and South PB. That's the bay access, which I'll show you in a minute. We'll go back inside. Another view of the living room, dining room, nice little desk there. This condo does come fully furnished if that's what the buyer wants. With the price can come all furnishings and most of the art. Here's the kitchen. Got a big pantry here to the right, which is nice. A light in there, a couple shelves. Fridge does not have an ice maker. A water line could be run from the sink, but you gotta go, you gotta make the full turn around the kitchen to get there. Electric range. All appliances go with the sale. You got your dishwasher here, relatively new appliances. I think this used to be a space for a trash compactor. Now it's just a trash can. And there is a window here behind the piece of art, so you do get a little more light if you want it. You got your microwave. Looks like it is recirculating. 
not to the outside, but you could always punch through the roof, which is just right above you, and have that vent to the outside. We will move along to the hallway where the bedrooms are. First bedroom on the right has the French doors opening in. Got a window there to the interior of the community. Mirrored closet. Nice space. Could always make this just a single door, give you a little more privacy or this kind of bonus flexible space. Got your electric panel in the closet here. This is for the whole um, condo and it is upgraded within the past few years. This here uh, is actually ducting for the AC system. The future plan was to remodel the kitchen and add more AC ducting into the living space, dining space and kitchen. And this is what that was for to accommodate that. Currently, it is not the prettiest thing, but could easily be boxed in and drywalled, and you wouldn't notice it. That's bedroom number three. We'll head down the hallway. This is bathroom number two of two. It's a three-bedroom, two-full bath. So this is shared with the two bedrooms on the right. Nice vanity. And you got your tub shower here. Skylight above, and then we've got a vent fan with a heater, so there's two switches for it. One provides heat, one provides venting to the exterior. Lots of storage space in the hallway, beach towels and whatnot. Here we've actually got at the end of the hallway our heat pump blower and then upstairs on the roof is the condenser. So this is where your AC and heat comes from. And you got your Nest thermostat which is great, easy to control from your smartphone when you're away. Here's bedroom number two. This is the second largest bedroom. Got the same closet with mirrored doors, sliding mirrored doors. I believe that is a plumbing access back there uh, for behind the tub shower. You need to replace valves or whatnot. And you've got, this is actually not a very often used catwalk within the community, so you do have a significant amount of privacy from here. Uh, you're not having a lot of guests walking by. That's the stairwell for the community. Most people use the elevator. Big bedroom. You can see the floor plan for the room dimensions. I don't have them off the top of my head. We're gonna head into the master bedroom. Could of course add ceiling lights and ceiling fans in the future. This is facing due north toward the Riviera Shores community. A little bit of relief from the street. Walk-in closet, lots of room in here. Could add more shelves if you needed. And we've got the ensuite master bath, dual sinks. Big tub and shower, commode. These are the four art pieces that do not go with the sale. Just about everything else, excluding maybe one or two other art pieces, can go and do go with the sale. So that's our tour of the inside of unit number 305 here at Riviera Villas. I'm gonna now take you to the community, show you the parking, show you the storage, show you the bay access. So first thing to show you is the laundry. Obviously, I did not show you any laundry internal. Don't know of any condos in the community that actually have internal laundry. I don't think it is disallowed necessarily within the community. Um, just not yet has been retrofitted any of the condos that I know about to do so. So on every floor, you do have a washer and dryer system. I believe they're coin operated. So this is for this floor, 22 units in the complex. All four floors have their own washer dryer set. So if the set on your floor is occupied, you can always go to another floor and use that one. Here you also have your trash chute, as well as it looks like a little DVD collection. It also appears that you can pay using your phone through an app instead of having to use coins. So there is that function and ability. From the front door of the condo, I'm gonna show you what it looks like when you walk down this right catwalk. 
So it's that view from the second bedroom I was showing. This is kind of a walkway to nowhere. Interesting. <laughs> That's the condo right in front of us, of course. And then this way is the stairwell for the community. This is the internal stairwell. I'll show you the other external stairwell. So this takes you down to the front entrance of the community down there where we came from. Now from the front door of the condo, I'm gonna show you the external staircase. If you decide not to use the elevator, of course there's the one elevator for the community. Come this way. This is actually what you see through the window from your living room. Come down these stairs. Down two flights, around to the left, and this would be your quickest way to get to the bay for bay access. And I'll take you down this way to show the sitting area for the community. You need your community key to get through this gate from the other side, of course, and then you've got a community sitting area here. Not a huge space, but certainly nice if you want to be close to the sand while you're having lunch or dinner or cocktails with friends. And of course, this is one of the biggest draws of this community is just how quickly you can get your toes in the sand, as they say play some beach volleyball, go for a sail, take your bikes around the boardwalk towards Mission Bay and the ocean, which is just about a little under a mile to the west this way, the way we're facing. You can now walk over to the garage and I'll show you that. Here's the bay facing side of the community. These are all the one bedroom condos facing west. You come in on the bay side of the garage, use your key, and you're now in the communal parking garage. To the left here, you've got a cold water shower and hose to get the sand off you as you're coming in. And I'll show you the parking spaces for the unit. Very convenient parking spaces coming off the street. They're going to be the first on your right as you're coming in the gate. So where this white pickup truck is, is one of the spaces. The other space is immediately to the truck's left, to your right. This W2 space as well as the space that the truck's in. And then all this space around it is space and opportunity for storage. These bikes actually go with the sale. Seller believe there's four bikes, but it looks like now there's five. So expect four bikes to go with the sale. And then the majority of these lockers behind the parking spaces, storage lockers, go with the sale as well. These are your exclusive condo storage area as well as a lot of this, these items. And this area is open for storage. Obviously your electric meter will be here as well as your uh, main electric breaker will be the labeled one there, 305. No gas meters because there's no gas to the complex and the water is one water meter for the whole complex provided by the HOA. This would also be a good place if you wanted to to add a electric car charger. Shouldn't necessarily be that difficult to add that. One other thing to note in the garage here is from the inside, if you have your bike or, uh, or your car, obviously you'll have a clicker for the gate, but if you're a pedestrian or you're on your bike, and you don't have your clicker, you can use this button here or your key to open. And then on the other side, you also have a push button as well. So if you don't have your clicker or your friends using your parking space, uh, you don't necessarily need it to get in the garage, which is a nice feature. You've also got recycling bins here, and this is where the trash chute ends up, right there. Hey, I wanna thank you for taking the tour with me. Quinn Myers with Compass San Diego Real Estate. Go on our website if you want some more information, www.soldbyq.com. Thanks so much.